fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. country was a favorite hideout for outlaws during the early days of the western United States. And it was along the Rio Grande that the masked rider of the plains did some of his greatest work in the cause of justice. It was his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness that brought law and order to the lawless frontier and finally made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading south for the border. Tunnel's waiting for us. Hello, Silver. Hello. Young Bill Collier, the new United States Marshal at River City, was cleaning his guns in his office on the day after his arrival. Suddenly, the door burst open, and Sheriff Morgan hurried inside. Marshal, here's your first case. What's that, Sheriff? Grab your guns and come running. Ringo's just going into the bank. Who's Ringo? The worst outlaw west of the Pecos. Too tough for me to handle. The job's yours. He's holding up the bank? Yeah, must be right under your nose. We saw him walk in bold as brass. It looks to me like he waited till you got here just to show what he thinks of a tenderfoot marshal. You'll find out what a tenderfoot from the panhandle's like. Sure come thing. on. They're fine, the United States government. That's what he's doing. That's the bank across the street, isn't it? Yeah. You better go easy, though. Ringo's draw is lightning. Yeah, there he is. Just coming out now. He's an old man. Yeah, don't let that fool you. It's an old rattlesnake that's a dangerous kind. Look at that sack he's carrying. He's cleaned out the bank. Hold it, Ringo. Eh? What's that, young fella? Don't go for your gun. What's that? That's a trick, pretending he don't hear. I'd advise you not to go for your gun. Yep. Sure is plenty hot in the sun. It's a trick. Hand over that sack. Eh? Huh? The sack. Oh, oh, it's fair to Midland. Got some kinks up around my shoulders in the morning, but they work out. He won't give it up, see? Get his gun. And yeah, not me. That's your job. All right, Ringo. What the digger? Now the sack. Well, well, I'll be jiggered. That's a mighty high-handed way for a peace officer, Dak. Good work, Marshal. Open it up. Take a look and see how much he stole. Onions. We put them in to cover up. Look underneath. There's nothing but onions in this sack. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you expect to find, young fella? I see. It was a joke. Well, I, I hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs> we got to hand it to you, Marshal. You sure know how to handle a desperate criminal. <laughs> Mind if I come in, Marshal? Oh, it's you, Ringo. No, come on in, sit down. I want you to know, young fella, that I wasn't one of the armies that laughed at you just now. Well, I wouldn't have blamed you. 
of all the stupid tricks. Meaning the one the sheriff played? Meaning the one I played. If this is anything like my hometown, folks won't stop laughing at me for a month. I don't mind for myself so much, but, well, I won't be able to get on with my work the way I should. They, uh, they say you're a kind of special lawman, young fella. Got the United States government back here. That's right. Ain't this kind of a small place to have a marshal? Washington doesn't think so. <laughs> Ain't enough trouble around here to keep the sheriff busy. There's trouble around here the townspeople don't know anything about. That's so? What's your business, Ringo? Well, I'm a freighter. I got two wagons. Where are you freight? From Brownsville to here and back. You follow the river trail, then? I sure do. And you can see across into Mexico most of the way. That's right. Have you ever seen any evidence of smugglers? So that's what you're after. You might be able to help me, Ringo. So I'm going to tell you exactly what's going on. Yeah? There's a rebel army camped south of here near Monterey. Well, that's no business of ours, is and it? They're getting rifles from this side of the border. And Washington's promised Mexico we'll put a stop to it. Hmm. That sounds to me like a job for the army. And sometimes one man can find out more than an army. And uh, you're the man, eh? You might be the one. Will you keep your eyes open on the trail and report to me if you see anything that looks suspicious? Well, that'd be down near Brownsville. It'd be near River City. What do you know about that? They wouldn't have a chance to get a big shipment of rifles across farther down the river. And we believe that instead of coming from the east, they're coming from the west. Well, I'll be blowed. You know, you seem to be hearing a lot better than you did out in the street. Oh, yes. I get deep whenever I want to, young fella. Out there, I was trying to tip you off. Too bad you didn't see me wink. <laughs> yes, it is. Just tell me one thing more. Do you suspect anybody around here of helping out the smugglers? Well, if this is part of the country where they're operating, there must be someone. In town? I can't answer that. It might be outlaws who have a camp in the hills. Yeah. Has the sheriff had any trouble with outlaws? No, not much. They wouldn't bother River City, though, if they're playing for bigger games. That's my idea, Ringo. Can I depend on your help? Well... I'm pretty old, Marshal, but you sure can. Any information I get is yours. I'm starting for Brownsville in the morning, and if I find out anything on the way, I'll come hightailing back here pronto. Howdy, Ringo. Hello, Sheriff. Can I come in? Yeah, sure. Come on in. Are you alone? Can I talk? All clear. I thought you'd show up long before this. I had to wait till dark. Why? There's nothing wrong with calling on the sheriff. Might have a line on you. What about you? I made sure of that this afternoon. He took me into his confidence. Asked me to help him. Yeah? But when I asked him if he suspected anyone in town, he didn't give me a straight answer. Said it might be outlaws camped in the hills. Does he know about Butch and the gang? He doesn't know anything yet. Not for certain. I got a lot of fun out of that trick this morning, Ringo, but what was the point of it? <laughs> well, it's made a laughing stock of him. Nobody's going to take him serious for a long time. And that's all I wanted. Time's important. Time enough to make one more big haul across the border and I'll be satisfied. When did the rifles get here? Here? They'll be in Springville tomorrow. That's but... what I meant. I told him I was heading for Brownsville. But if I found out anything, I'd come back here. Well, Brownsville? That's the other way from Springville. He'll never know which way the wagon goes. And I'm not traveling with it. Eh? Now Listen. Tell Al to take the wagon and pick up the rifles. Oh, you want them to... Just listen, I'll give the orders and you carry them out. Oh, uh, sure. I'm heading for Rocky Ford to make sure Butch has everything set there. Yeah? By daybreak, Al should have reached Eagle Pass. He's to wait there for me. Why can't he just circle River City? I'm up... running this. I take over the wagon at the pass. I'll circle the town, all right. But just so I can come in here from the east. What do you want to come in here at all for? Because the marshal and you are going to ride with me when the rifles start for Rocky Ford. The marshal. I never underestimate a man, Sheriff. He's riding with us, and he won't come back. You're going to kill him? He'll, uh, he'll meet with an accident. That means he'll send another marshal, maybe troops next time. What do we care about next time? We'll be all through. All through and sitting pretty. I'll be back in the morning. Here we are, Tonto. There's Rocky Ford below us. The easiest place to cross the river for miles. Ah, outlaw camp up on the hill. We try and get closer. We're going to ride straight into the camp, Tonto. Why you do that? 
The simplest way to find out what their plans are is to join the gang. Not plenty dangerous. We've been mistaken for outlaws a number of times. Let's hope we are again. You'll not know who all in gang. Maybe somebody from other place know you. If that happens, we'll have to move fast. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Just remember, I got you covered. We aren't going for our guns. The boss is in this tent. Good. Who's there? Joe, boss. Here's a couple of armors that want to see you. One of them's masked, huh? Yeah. That's why I figured it might be all right. Take it off and let's have a look at your face. Oh, no. It stays on. Not if I say it don't. We still have our guns. Yeah, I see. Get them, Joe. Then you better keep them covered. Don't draw your gun. What's that? If you draw, I will. Then Joe will get both you and the engine. He may, and he may not. Why not let things stay as they are? Sure. I got them covered. They can't do anything. What difference does the mask make? Let it go. You're a pretty cool customer, mister. There's no point in getting excited about a business proposition. Business? Yeah, we'd like to join up with you. Yeah? What's your line? Anything that comes along. Rustling? I've had some connection with it. Well, there ain't no cattle around here. It wouldn't have any use for you. I know what you're working at. You do? It just happens that I have connections in Mexico, too. Oh. So you figure it's easy money and you want to cut in. The money you get from this job will take plenty of earning. Yeah? And uh, you can use men. Especially after you've crossed the border. That's where you're wrong. Our job ends as soon as we reach the other side of the river. Are you sure you don't need any more men to get across? I didn't say that. What are you saying? You look as if you might be pretty handy with your guns. But I'm not exactly the head man around here. No? Who is? You can find that out for yourself if you feel like staying. Uh, when will he be here? I don't know. Well, we'd certainly like to meet him. All right. You can make your bed out under the trees. If the boss gets here tonight, I'll wake you up and let you talk to him right away. That's all we ask. He's come. Uh, and go into tent. Are you ready? Tonto, all ready. Then come on. They did just what I told them, Ringo. Got down off their horses and walked toward me with their hands up. Then I took them to Butch. Well, I wore a mask and the other was an engine. That's right. Why didn't you make him take the mask off? He got tough about it. Refused to, huh? Yeah. I didn't think it made much difference. Of course, if you want to see his face... What about you... their horses? I didn't see any new ones when I rode up. Maybe they grazed into the woods. I see. Just let me make a guess about them. Sure. One of them was a paint, and the other was pure white, a big fella. You must have seen them. You fools. You've let the Lone Ranger walk right into this camp. Where is he now? The Lone Ranger? Where is he now? Why, he and the engine are sleeping outside. I said I'd wake him just as soon as you got here. Now your promise will be kept, but I'll do the keeping. I'll wake him up with hot lead. You want a lantern? No. Where? Show me where they are. This way. Under the big cottonwood. Fools, I suppose you talk too much. Not a word, boss. He didn't get anything from me. Not much. What good will it do him now anyway? We'll shut him up for good. What did you say? What I said wouldn't do him any good unless he knew everything. He had a suspicion and you proved it for him. Anyway, what good will it do him now Well, that... where are they? They they were right here. Where? But they got away. Got away just No, as... boss, look. They're just going over the bank. Come on, Silver. Open fire. <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto raced down the bank, and Silver and Scout faded into the night in the direction of Brownsville. But at dawn, miles to the west, and just as Ringo reached the big covered wagon drawn up near Eagle Pass, the masked man and the Indian rode to the heights that overlooked it. There he is, Tonto. Ah. We can guess what's in that wagon. Them ship rifle from west, like you think. And they're on their way to Rocky Ford, where the outlaws will take them over. That's right. But wagon not get there till night. And that's when we'll strike. There are plenty of men in camp. We'll have plenty ourselves. We ride to Fort. To Fort Cameron. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Stay here, Toto. Lead them to the river crossing. Uh, Tell them to keep undercover until they see the wagon. And where you go? To River City. The marshal must be warned. We don't want the sheriff to get away from us. Uh, when the men have found cover, head for River City. Don't take the river trail, but keep it in sight. Tonto, meet you? Yes, Kimosabe. This is our chance to round them all up. We don't want anything to go wrong. We get them this time. Adios. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Silver and that girl to the east and took the back way here. I don't think anyone saw me. It's a chance, though. You must have had a good reason for it. The best. Ringo is driving a wagon loaded with rifles from Eagle Pass. Right now, he must be circling the town and Wait trying to... Wait a minute. Well, there must be some mistake. Ringo left here before dawn for Brownsville. Did you see him? No, but the sheriff told me. Ringo hasn't been in town all night, and he's on his way to Rocky Ford with the rifles. He's got to warn the fort. That's already been taken care of. Your job is to take care of the sheriff. You mean just arrest him? We'd have no proof against him if you did that. No, Bill. We want the rifles to get to the crossing. It'll take you about three hours to ride there from here. Yeah? At three o'clock, go to the sheriff and ask him to follow the river trail with you. What reason will it give? Treat him the same way you did Ringo. Tell him the truth. I'm looking for smugglers, and I need his help. That's it. He can't do anything else but agree. Listen. Sounded like Ringo's voice. Here he comes, down the main street. Yes. From the east. You sure you were right about Eagle Pass? Positive. Tonto and I saw him there at dawn. But he's coming in from the east. He must have circled the town. He's heading for this office. Why should he do that? I don't know. But there are rifles under that canvas. And I'm sure he plans to take them to Rocky Ford. There's only one thing that will change his plans. Well, what's that? Finding me here. That's a closet, isn't it? Yeah. Wish you could talk to him instead of me. I'll let him do the talking. Right. Oh! Oh, my boy! Hello, Ringo. But you're on your way to Brownsville. Say, say, there's something up, Marshal. I think they've got a crew for the smugglers. You mean it? Bless have lost my eyesight complete. I got down off the wagon, looked at them tracks close. Tracks? It's an outlaw gang, sure enough. I said to myself, you promised the Marshal to let him know right away if you found something like this. So I just turned the team around and headed back here. Better saddle your horse and come along with me, young fella. I sure will. Uh, there's, uh, there's just one thing. The huh? tracks was right down by the river, by the deep ford. You could see they were sort of looking the ground over. I, uh, I... I think the sheriff ought to come with us. Eh? Why not? Well, uh, you don't want to be messing around with him. He'll claim all the credit if you capture them crooks. And that'd burn me up after the joke he played on you yesterday. Well, I don't care anything about the credit. He's the elected sheriff of this county, and he has a right to come along. Uh, maybe so. You're a straight shooter, son. Well, I'll buckle on my gun. Oh, never mind that. I'll get him for you. I'd appreciate it, Ringo. I'll be back in five minutes. All it takes is a little excitement to limber me up. You can come out now, masked man. How to handle it. Fine. But he has only one reason for wanting you to travel with him, Bill. Well, I sort of figured that out for myself. It was a good idea to make the sheriff come along. But there'll be two against one. Well, don't worry about me. You'd better go out the back door. Yes. I'll see you later. At the Ford? Before then, Bill, I want to see you alive. <laughs> Steady, old fellow. Here comes Tonto now. The wagon's about five miles out of town by now. We can't let them get much farther. Ringo mentioned the deep ford. Well, Tonto, did they find cover all right without alarming the outlaws? Ah, them on the other side of the ridge. They can't see the river from there. You give them signal. As soon as the shooting starts, that will be their signal to charge down the ridge. Ah, uh, 
Tonto ride back and tell him. The wagon should be there just at sunset. And what you do now? The marshal's riding with the wagon. He has both Ringo and the sheriff against him. I'm going to even up the odds. Come on, Silver. Glad you aren't holding a grudge, Marshal. Oh, all in fun, Sheriff. You don't get the wrong idea about me. See that piece of driftwood out in the river? Uh-huh. Hit it plumb center. Did you see that, Ringo? Yeah. Well, the man that tangles with the marshal better not let him draw first. Not if he wants to keep his health. We've come to the deep ford now. Where? Big rock just ahead. I'll pull up here and we can walk on. Whoa. Whoa there. Don't want to mess up the tracks. You may be leaving Ringo here, Sheriff. If there's a trail, we'll follow it. This box is sort of high, young fella. Mind give me a lift down? Oh, I thought you were all limbered up. Oh, excitement wore off. You'll have to get out of your saddle. All right. Uh, just give me your hand. That's the idea. Jump. Here I come. Let go my arms. You don't have to. They're covered, Marshal. So that's it, huh? You weren't taking any chances. His guns, Ringo. I got him. Oh! What the? It's the Lone Ranger, Ringo. He's behind that rock at the fort. That's dirty. And I'll take those guns. No, back. you don't. Yeah. I'll take those. I'll get you. Quiet down, boys. Keep back from the trail till we see who's with him. He got through all right in a way. Yeah. We'll have all those rifles across the river by morning. What do you mean, see who's with him? He was supposed to bring the marshal along. That would have been a local stop. He wouldn't have got back to River City, Joe. I can't see very well, but there's somebody riding the box with him. And a horse trailing behind. It's the sheriff's black. Yeah, that's the sheriff sitting on the box with Ringo. It's all right, boys. We'll ride to meet him. Get up. Get up Come on. Get up there, boy. Come on. Get up there. Come on. Get up there. Oh, steady, boy. Steady. You can leave her here for a while, Ringo. I... I'm driving her right down to the ford. Don't you want some grub before we go to work? We start now. Yeah, you're the boss. Howdy, Sheriff. Howdy. Thought you was going to bring the marshal from town. I... I didn't say all the way here. We stopped to look at some tracks by the deep ford. <laughs> and that's where you done him in, huh? <laughs> Tell us about it. That masked man, he... He what? What were you going to say? He wasn't around nowhere. Didn't see him at all. I told you not to worry. It'll be dark in another five minutes. Don't you think we'd better wait till then we before... We start carrying the cases over right now. Oh, oh, boy. All right, you heard what the boss said. Rustle them cases out of the wagon. Two men to a case. You can walk the ford. Uh, we, we got the first... Say, what's the matter? Looks like a man in here, up the Ringo. Where'd those shots come from? Look and see, halfway up the hill. That white horse again. It's the Lone Ranger. Yeah, and he's got us dead to rights. Who's in the wagon? The marshal. I'll get him. Don't be a fool. You'd have to drag those cases out of the way to get a beat on him. He's got one gun stuck in my back and another in the sheriff's. Well, he can't get away. Half of you boys go on after the masked man. Go on. <laughs> that bugle. Maybe you can't see, but I can. It's a voice from the fort. Soldiers. Into your saddles, men. Get out of here. Across the river. Look, Butch, on the other bank. More soldiers. Mexican regulars. And the ford's the only place to cross. The river trail. Hit the trail. The Lone Ranger and the great horse Silver flashed toward the column of blue that poured down from the ridge. At the foot of the bank, the troops split, half for the Lone Ranger, charging upstream after the outlaws, and half with Tonto, racing after those who had taken the lower trail. The running fight broke in full fury. Don't follow the river here, Captain. We'll cut across this neck of land and pick them up on the trail beyond. Here they come. Open fire. Fire and wheel. Fire and wheel. The outlaws reined up before the deadly fire of the soldiers. And with all hope of escape gone, Butch took the lead in shouting his surrender. We give up. Go shoot. We give up. All you have to do is tie them up now, Captain. I'm hitting the back trail to see how the others are making out. Good work, Lone Ranger. Come on, Silver, old boy. We've got to hurry. Hail oh, Silver. Hurry. Where are they, Tonto? Them take cover behind rock down the river. It's dark now. Hard to drive them out. They won't dare try to swim the river. Those Mexican soldiers are waiting on the other bank. 
The outlaws will be hanged for treason on that side. Ah, it could be cross river last night. Find soldier and tell them where to watch. You and I are going to drive them into the open. How we do that? We're going to swim silver and scout downstream. Take them into the shallows near the rocks. That's good. Then we'll open fire. They'll be attacked from both sides. In this light, they won't know how many men are shooting. Come on, silver. Get up, scout. Great horse, Silver and Scout, plunged into the water. Down the river they swam until they neared the outlaw's rocky stronghold. Then the Lone Ranger and Tonto guided them into the shallows. Now, Tonto! The surprise worked. They're leaving their cover. Soldier, close in. It's all over, Tonto. The whole gang will be captured. Just keep driving, Ringo. It's a great idea you had, but it didn't work. Posing as an old-timer before all the townspeople, and in reality, leading that gang of gun runners. <laughs> keep following the soldiers to the floor. Think you're mighty smart, don't you? You wouldn't have had a chance of catching us if it hadn't been for the Lone Ranger. Well, I'll grant you that. Saved my life, too. I'm mighty grateful. Asking me and the sheriff to help you. Oh, but that was just following the Lone Ranger's orders. You see, he had charge of this whole shebang, and I was asked for your help to put you off your guard. Uh, yeah. Mighty fine idea. There'd be no chance of catching a smart hombre like you unless you were off your guard. I ought to... <laughs> unless, of course, it was the masked man that tried it. Somehow that always makes a difference. I want to... just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.